All right, guys, so uh, it's Cam Hawkins here from Trading Up Podcast. We're on video here with Louise Bedford, who's recently been on the show. So welcome back, Louise. Thanks for doing this little video clip for us. Thanks so much, Cam. I think this will be a bit of an adventure. Yeah, well, look, I mean, we've had some minor technical issues. Uh, so I'm now sharing my chart, and Louise is basically... She's going to be the one that, that um, goes through the chart, looking at my charts and describing things to me. So, so at the end of the show, uh, we actually got a wee strategy that you sort of over yeah, you gave to us as a sort of a bit of an overview. So we're going to yes. go into that in a little bit more detail, and, and uh, Louise is going to talk us through what we should be looking for on the chart. So, I suppose to start off, Louise, do you want to give the guys a little bit of an insight into the strategy? Or maybe Lee, yeah, we can probably describe it as we're, as we're going. Um, yeah, what I think I'll do, Cam, is if I describe the strategy first, I'm working without a net here because you're throwing up a chart. I haven't started it before. Yeah. And that's sometimes the purest way to see the trend. So then let's apply what I've described to this particular chart. You can surprise me if you like. We can have other charts up too. What the heck, it might be a good time. Yeah. So let's go through the strategy first. Now with candlesticks, we know that we're looking at your screen at the moment where the blue ones are the up period and the red ones are the down period. So with candles, if it's going to go up in terms of the trend, you would expect there to be more blue than red. You would expect there to be longer blue than red. You would expect resistance to be easily overcome by a blue candle. Now, let's have a look to see what this strategy was that I mentioned at the end of the show, which I have to say has, say has been so popular. You really do have a wonderful following, Cam. It's great to see. Now, the idea behind it is according to people like Bolkowski, who has never really studied this, he said that all candles are created equal. He doesn't apply weight of evidence. He angered me a lot with his book when he said candlesticks aren't reliable. So let's have a look to see when they are reliable. Because if you just take a candle and you don't look at the previous trend, of course it's not going to have weight of evidence in its favour. And as technical analysts, we only must ever act on weight of evidence. So here's how weight of evidence works with candlesticks. Firstly, if there's an overall uptrend, bottom candlesticks will be very, very strong and top candlestick reversal patterns will be very, very weak. So they're not created equal in the body of a trend. Now let's see if we can apply that knowledge and talk about some specific trading strategies that everybody can implement straight away. Now Cam, I'm looking at your screen at the moment and the part that catches my eye, we've got a lovely big uptrend here. Now, what I'd like you to do is just have a look at the 23rd of November and just slightly beyond that where we've got the breakout candle. So if you go up from where you are, yeah. that one, yeah. got it. Okay. okay. Now, we have a lovely line of resistance just at the base of that candle. See where the other four little tiny candles are? Ah, you yeah. can draw a horizontal line of resistance there. Beautiful. Now... What we're going to do is imagine that we're back just before that big candle breakout. So what we've got here is we've already got an existing uptrend. We've got a series of higher highs and higher lows, and that is ripe for the taking. We're looking now to use candles to time our entry. We've got the setup in place. We're after the correct trigger. So that trigger candle is that beautiful long breakout candle where your arrow is pointed right now. So that's something to consider. Any of the top candlestick patterns before that candle, they're very weak. They punch through resistance so easily with this price action. It's so beautiful to see. So that's something to already note. In an existing uptrend, resistance will be weak and support will be strong. So you can look for a breakout candle, which is a long blue candle, and if you've got volume, if it's that type of chart, on heavy relative volume, punching through a previous line of resistance. So that's a breakout, and they're beautiful. But let's think about another method of implementing in an existing uptrend. 
Now, Cam, what I'd like you to do, you can see the triggered candle, that breakout candle that you're pointing to. I'd like you to move one, two, three, four, move five over. So you've got that that one. Got it. Yep. Okay. Now, I don't know whether you can circle, but can you circle those three or call attention to those three? These so three you've here? got the red one um, where you were first off. So you've got the, oh, not that one. Okay. So move just over a little bit. These three? Yes, those three. Got it. All right. Now, that type of look is a morning star. Now, that is a candlestick bottom reversal. And remember, we're in an existing uptrend. So the strategy goes, if you've got a bottom candlestick reversal pattern, it will be very strong in an existing uptrend. And look what happened after that beautiful candle pattern. Up, up and away. And look, we've got even another bottom candlestick reversal pattern. See the first red after that little pattern there, Cam? And can you get a box around those two, the red one? and the blue, got it. Now that is also a bottom candlestick reversal pattern. That's so exciting because it's one I named. That is an inverse piercing pattern. Now that inverse piercing pattern, look, it goes up, up and away, and then we've got sideways movement. Let's look for another bottom reversal candle in that existing uptrend. Cam, you can see that movement sideways after that reversal pattern there. Yep. Now, there, that one that you've got there, circle those two or put a box around those two. There we have another inverted piercing pattern. And look at that as a gorgeous trigger for entry because up, up, up and away, there we go. So every bottom reversal candlestick pattern you can see in that existing uptrend inspires an incredibly bullish result. And that is beautiful for short-term trades. It has an effect of three to 10 periods. And also timing the entry of any trade. So look for that existing uptrend first of all. Don't just look for the breakouts. I mean, gosh, there's another breakout if you have a look at that last one that you've got. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go to the seventh seventh candle, that low one, yeah, yeah, there we go. Got a breakout candle there. And if you go another two candles on the next two, that's another inverted piercing pattern. That's a beautiful bottom candlestick reversal pattern. Then we've got another breakout there and it's gone up and now the trend's starting to falter. You can see those two at the top there, that blue long candle and the little red one piercing 50% or more into that blue candle's body. That one is actually another piercing pattern, but it's the opposite. So that's a top reversal pattern because the red one's starting to take power. I don't know how much depth you want me to go into, but I could just rave about that one for a little bit. What do you want, Cam? What do your um, people want? Well, I'll tell you, what, why don't we jump onto another another chart and just uh, and see what... Yeah. Well, what, what that it. looks like. So, so I just whacked the old S and P five hundred up here, and it, you know, it wasn't a massive bullish run here for quite some time. So, we'll try and chuck up another random one and see, yeah, see what we've got. Hopefully, I've got some daily data for it. Um, well, we could actually just keep on moving because we can see that's the end okay, yeah. of the bullish yeah. run there, and then I could take you through the short side because it's quite a nice way to have a look at the short side. So where the story left off was that top candlestick reversal pattern that was saying, ah, 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 bulls, we are starting to call in some bears here. So we have that, it's actually a harami, that top reversal pattern. So you can see that top blue one with the red one just beside it. Now, what have we got here? If we look a little bit more closely, we've got movement down. We've got now some longer red candles. Let's just squint our eyes and just have a look. Longer red candles than green. We've got more red candles than the green or the blue. So we're starting to have weakness into that uptrend. So let's look at some breakout candles on the way down and some top reversal patterns to trigger entry into a short position because you can make money on the downtrend. So you can see there, Cam, where you've got that square, which is great. So you've got one, two, three candles. At the base of those three candles, you've got some support. So you can draw it, yes. And then look at that. You've got a gorgeous red candle piercing support. Now, this is a really important thing to note because now we're going down. Things have changed. So support is weak and resistance is strong. So once you've got that weak support, that could trigger if 
you've got a different instrument here. Of course, there's lots of things you can do. But that could trigger a bought put. It could trigger a written call. It could trigger a short CFD to get involved. You're looking for weight of evidence, so don't just take one little thing. But it gives you an idea that that's giving a lot of weakness here. The uptrend is over. The short time has moved in for the kill. And sure here, from then on, we've got a big sideways progression, and it's a bit icky, but each time you've got a top candlestick reversal pattern, it's responded to quite strongly with that trend. It's saying the top candlestick reversal patterns, like if you just come along, Cam, to the next peak where you can see the blue one, that one got it. Circle those two or, or put a square around. There we go. Now that's, I'm, I'm not zoomed in quite enough. Don't, don't zoom in for me though. It's either an engulfing pattern or it's an inverted piercing pattern. So either way, it means the same thing. It means that we're going down and look how long those two candles are straight after that. So it tells you a lot. The length of the candle, the colour of the candle, where your support and resistance line is as a result of the overall trend as well. So top candles during a downtrend will be very, very powerful. Brilliant. Look, um, I think that really clears stuff up for the, any guys that listen to the podcast and are, are thinking, how does, this, how does this actually look like on a chart? What does it look like? So thank you very much for coming back on, Louise, and, uh, and sharing your insights and knowledge with us. Uh, really appreciate it. And guys, what, what's, or actually, what's the best way for the guys to get hold of you again? Um, go to tradinggame.com.au and you're all welcome to register for my free trading pack called Trading Made Simple. And the thing that you'll get along with that is a trading plan template. Now that is your Bible. It will give you exactly what to do. What do you need in your trading plan in order to be a successful trader? And the other good news is, Cam, I know this is going to be great because you've just agreed to come on to my podcast, Talking Trading. Yes. So I'm really, yeah, I'm very excited. So I'm really looking forward to hearing your interview with that and to releasing it through talkingtrading.com.au. So I know that that's going to be the beginning of a wonderful collaboration. Yeah, look, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I thought it was actually today. Uh, in 15 minutes, but now I realise it's tomorrow in, oh, at the same time, which is which is Just great. So, well, <laughs> yeah, because I'd be running, I'd be running, uh, I'd be running, um, uh, running quickly to to get, to get ready for it. So no, I'm looking forward to that. It should be great fun. And um, yeah, guys, if you want to check out Louise and what else she's got going on, then head over there to tradinggame.com.au. All right, guys. Until next time, um, I'll catch you later. Have a great trading week.